Today, I will introduce Armenia's Blue Eye Jewel Lake Sevan. Be prepared as the place is one of the coldest regions in Armenia, although the sun may burn during all seasons. This means it's necessary to take warm clothes and sunscreen. If you have already packed them, so let's go! Sevan is situated in Kerarkunik province and is the largest lake in the Republic of Armenia, also the third largest on the Armenian highland after Lake Svan and Urmia, and is the largest freshwater reservoir in the region with 28 rivers flowing into the lake. It's surrounded by Kerama, Vartenis, Pambag, Sevan and Arikuni mountain chains. I have to mention that Sevan is important for the Armenian economy, being the main source of the irrigation water. Sevan provides low-cost electricity, fish, recreation and tourism. An endemic fish species of the lake is Sevan trout, Ishkhan meaning imperial, with its four subspecies Kerarkuni, Summer Pachtak, Winter Pachtak and Bojak. What to do in Lake Sevan? Swim, surf or ski. There are a number of water-based activities happening around Lake Sevan. You can swim in the cool blue waters of the lake, worship the sun on the public beaches, or jet ski and wine surf along the lake. Boat rides on the lake are also available if you would like to experience different parts of it. Fish dinners Dining on Lake Sevan's fish is a highlighted in itself. Excellent fish restaurants lines the lake's shores or you can sample the fresh fish being barbecued right on the beaches. Either way, you are in for a scrumptious experience. There are a number of excellent fish restaurants along the shore, especially just north of the Gerzi Peninsula. Barbecued fish is cheap, not the Ishkhan trout though, and is always juicy. The fried fish is usually quite nicely marinated and is also cheap. Crowdad's rock are also found at these restaurants. Once you have sampled fish barbecue served in one of the eateries, along the coast walk the stairs up the hill for a panoramic view for the Sevan Peninsula and to visit the Sevanavang Monastery. The monastery is on top of the Peninsula Hill and it's built of crude black stone on the exterior. The interior has a beautiful old altar used for services by the new seminary down the hill. It was founded in the 4th century by Gregory the Eliminator, but completed by the 9th century. Centuries later, two more churches were built in that area, St. Arakelots and St. Astvazadzin. The monastery is ancient and well-preserved making it interesting to visit. But the best thing about Savanavang are the glorious views over the lake. This monastery can be accessed by means of some steep stairs where little stalls selling drinks and all manner of souvenirs are located. If you are lucky and the skies are clear, you can expect to get some great photo shots of the churches overlooking the lake. Noratus Cemetery. This is by far my favorite attraction around Lake Sevan. Noratus is the largest Khachkar cemetery in the world. And if you are wondering what Khachkars are, well, they are carved memorial stones in which crosses and other motifs are carved. Some of the Khachkars in Noratus date back to the 10th century.